Hi everybody. Now, if you're new to Armour 3, you might not know the way that you can uh, save, test and try multiple different loadouts for your soldiers. Now, your Armour 3 might look a little bit different for this. This is the Prairie Fire menu. But what you want to look for is um, under our tutorials, you want to go to the Virtual Arsenal and you want to open this. And basically, in any game where they give you access to an arsenal. Now sometimes it can be limited, but if it's an unlimited arsenal, you can load in presets of your choice. So for example, with me, I have got here, this is my Prairie Fire standard template. So we can load that in, and you can see that's my Prairie Fire template. Now, obviously if you're playing Prairie Fire, you're not going to load in um, <laughs> a template with the Modern Soldiers kit on, are you, or a World War II kit on you. But it means that you can come into the arsenal and you can create loadouts and you can say try them as well um, just to see uh, how they they go I mean you can look in your, your inventory click between your uniform your webbing there is uh, what's in my backpack as well and then we can press escape we can go back to the arsenal and we can optimize and change things so let me load up my uh, vanilla operator uh, one so let's load up this fella just so i can kind of show you a little, little sort of hints and tips when you're creating um loadouts and stuff so you kind of start along the left hand side or you can click on the weapons and the bits as you go along and that will change them so if we click on gun for example you see we then have the choice of all these guns now also along here we can see the little icons that refer to what DLC the particular piece of kit relies on so if you're making loadouts for vanilla armor you want to avoid anything with an icon on if you're trying to make a uh, prairie fire Vietnam loadout obviously you can go the one with the prairie fire on um, so you can go through and you can select things so you know w w what I've got is I've got this gun here um, which is one of the I've got to remember what it is now 6.5 millimeter MCX I think it is with the grenade launcher on now once you've got the gun selected if you come over to the right hand side It shows you The to start off with the scopes that you can add to the gun now if it's empty it means you can't have a scope on So you can choose different scopes and again We have these little icons that tell us which DLC this particular scope will rely on so again If you're just doing vanilla you want to avoid anything with an icon click down then we've got the flashlight or the uh, IR laser pointer then we've got any suppressors we could put on and then we've got bipods as well and so you can go through and you can select the sort of kit that you want um, and then you'll want to start putting stuff in your inventory so if we look in our backpack this is probably the easiest way to learn so anything that can hold inventory so your uniform uh, your vest or your backpack this can hold stuff in it and the way that it works is once you've selected your your backpack there or your backpack here over here on the right hand side this is the stuff you can put into it um, and on the top right hand corner this single mag here this means that this will only show you stuff that fits the kit you've got so for example because i've got the 6.5 millimeter assault rifle it's showing me the 6.5 millimeter um mags now it's saying i can't fit in the 100 round ones they won't fit in there and then we've got all these flares and smoke rounds i can put in and the nine millimeter magazines for my handgun so we can put that stuff in if you click on the, the all the magazines you get all the magazines that are available for the dlc that you've loaded so there'll be plenty of stuff here that you don't want however because of the limited nation, nature in how uh, Armour 3 can categorise things, what you will find here is things like the prairie fire food. Now, of course, you might see this food and go, oh, I, I wouldn't mind having some dysentery meds in normal armour. But if you click on it, you'll see down in the bottom right corner, it tells you that this is a this is a SOG prairie fire thing. You know, it's, it's for that DLC. So if you try and load it in a... Um, uh, in a different DLC, it's not going to work. Um, and you can go through and you can add all this extra stuff in. I mean, you've really got to scroll down to see what's classed in this section because it's not always obvious. Like, we've got satchel charges there, sapper for prairie fire, um, when you think they would be under explosive. Then we've got grenades, which you can put in. Then we've got explosives, which can be all sorts of different things. Um, 
and then we've got say traps and then we've got plus so we've got first aid kits and that sort of stuff also i'll tell you another thing that's confusing as well is when you're in the arsenal in certain games in fact if i load up my prairie fire template again what you'll see this guy has if we try it let me show you in his backpack so if i go to i for inventory what you'll see is my secondary um uh, is well what have i got i've got the flare launcher and then i've got the axe and in my backpack i've got the shovel um now if we go in if we're going to the virtual arsenal if we go back to it and then we go into launcher we should see oh sorry secondary if we go down we'll see there's the axe there so it's it's listed as a secondary for a pistol and then down here there should be the shovel see the shovel isn't there but what happened what you have to do is if you want to um, have a weapon in your backpack and not on your person it doesn't really work in the virtual arsenal but when you're actually in a proper game if you go to the arsenal and then you pick up say the shovel um, what you then do is you come out of the arsenal and then drop it on the ground go back into the arsenal and pick up something out like a pistol then you can come out of the arsenal and put the shovel or the axe or whatever it was into your backpack so it's there so you can swap in between and that's why you can get a situation like my uh, engineer has here for vietnam where he's got his axe and he's got a shovel so he can build structures and he can also cut down trees when he gets into the jungle in the nam if you like to do it that way um so it's really it's a fun thing to play around with it's a fun thing to try sometimes i think you probably better off maybe placing an arsenal down or using the arsenal in the editor to run around and try because at least you're kind of on a real map rather than this grey stuff and there is also vehicles as well that you can play around with and um, I, th I think you can drive around them I haven't really had a go at that but I would probably do that in the editor uh, so you've got some real terrain to go around but for loading and saving and doing some playing around outside of a game um, for soldier play, player load, loadout and weapons, uh, I think this is a lot of fun and saves you wasting time when you're actually in a game mode um, and you know other people are in the way. Oh, there we go, this is that tank <laughs> we spawned in. So, um, yeah, uh, there we go. Now, sometimes actually, I will, one more thing I will say is if you there's certain things that you can do in the virtual arsenal which make the camera go wrong um, and can lead to problems where you've got to exit out and reload the virtual arsenal because it kind of gets a little bit confused but don't worry if that happens kind of it happens and it's, um, it doesn't take too long to load in and out of the arsenal but there we go hopefully you found this video useful if you have hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon